Hey everyone, this week we're discussing five reasons to do macro photography. So I've got loads of videos on my channel giving tips on how to do macro photography, but I don't often talk about the reasons why you might want to do macro photography. Because you could go out and do landscape or portrait, street photography, there's all kinds of things to photograph. So today we're going to talk about the reasons why you might actually choose to do macro photography instead. I've come out today to National Trust Longshore Estate. From here I'm going to head down to favourite location of the channel, Padley Gorge, and I'm hoping to get some shots with the Sigma 105mm and Nikon Z7 of all kinds of autumny things like mushrooms and leaves and stuff like that. So we'll talk a bit more about macro when we get down there. Okay, so reason number one, you're not reliant on particular conditions when you come out to do macro photography. So firstly, with the light, even though that's really important, light is important for every type of photography. You can't have photography without it. But with macro, you don't have to wait for a golden hour light or a particular time of day. You can come out at any time and shoot in any lighting conditions. You can also bring your own lights if it's really dark, for example. You don't have to come out in particular weather conditions so it could be raining or snowing and sometimes in fact that can be better for macro photography but if you really do want to avoid getting out in horrible weather you can also do it at home indoors so you've got lots of different options when it comes to macro photography So reason number two, you've got an abundance of subject matter in a really small area. So I'm down at Pally Gorge now, and this is a big area and there's so much going on here, it's amazing. But to be honest, I could have done the same video in my back garden because you've got so much detail in such a small area that you don't really have to move very far to capture loads of really good subjects. So if you haven't got a lot of time or you can't travel too far, macro is really good for that because you only have to just go outside in a small area and you've got everything you need. Reason number three is an extension of reasons one and two. Because you don't need to think about the weather conditions or the light or the area that you're gonna come out to, it means that there's not much planning. So you can just pick up your camera, get out the door, or if you're staying at home, <laughs> just get into your different room or get your lighting set up. And you've got everything there and you can just get cracking straight away. You don't need to think about parking or directions to your location. You've got it all figured out straight away.
Okay, so reason number four is that you don't need much equipment to start doing macro photography. It's not like landscape where you need maybe a wide angle, a 24 to 70, and something with a longer focal length. You can just start with one lens and a camera body, and that'll get you going. Eventually, you'll probably want to get a dedicated macro lens for one-to-one -one magnification. But even then, you don't need all of the extra bits like lights. I'm not even using a tripod today, mainly because I forgot the attachment to attach my camera to it. But you can get away without that to start with. And as you progress and you get better at your macro photography, you can add all the extras like the tripods and beanbag cushions, flashes and lights and things like that. But to start off with, it's nice and cheap. You just get going with one lens and one body. And so finally, the fifth reason is that it's just really fun and interesting to do macro photography. You see things from a completely different perspective and you'll see colours and textures that you wouldn't see from a different focal length. And that can be really fun and motivating, particularly if you've got a bit of a creative block. It's just really good to get out, do something different. So I really do recommend just getting a macro lens, getting out and trying it. It's always great to get out to Padley Gorge. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you'll know that I go there so often, but it's such an amazing place and there's always something new to photograph. And doing macro really helps with that because, like I said, just changing that perspective, if you're tired of the same old landscapes, getting in close with a macro lens can really help alleviate some of that boredom or creative block. I just want to make a quick point about looking after these amazing places such as Padley Gorge. And that's because someone left a comment on one of my videos recently saying I should really consider about not sharing these places in my videos because too many people are going to them and not looking after them. And I don't fully agree with that because it feels a little bit like gatekeeping to say people can or can't go. But if we do want to enjoy these places and make them available for everyone, we do need to look after them. And we need to make sure we're not littering or treading in the wrong areas and destroying the environment and things like that. I know the vast majority of people who watch my channel will respect these places. But it's the least I can do just to point these things out and say look after them, make sure we can all enjoy them. So with that said, that's the end of this video. Massive thanks for watching. If you haven't had enough of Padley Gorge, I will be back there next week doing some woodland photography with all the amazing autumn colours and fingers crossed for some fog. But this one's finished, so huge thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel and you're not yet subscribed, you can just click down there on the big red button or over here on this picture of me and that way you'll stay up to date with everything I'm doing 
Each and every week, there's a new video every Sunday morning at 10am UK time. So I hope you'll join me again next week in Padley. Until then, thanks a lot everyone, and bye for now.